these golden words and ladies and gentlemen we are live back at it once again zenith versus jesus round two here we go i'd like to thank everybody in attendance tonight trying to catch this second commentary match the first one was legendary you just had to be there i mean it was a private boxing session unsanctioned and these two absolute goliaths went at it to the bitter end now unfortunately for jesus Weezus, he was not the victor that night but let us not forget the amount of heart that he fought with in the face of an oppressive defense and even more oppressive offense i mean it was it was it was not kosher these spam hands they're not kosher and you know what we're about to see round two um ladies and gentlemen we've got zenith rocking the blue trunks yet again and you know jesus we is rocking rocking that red because he out for blood trying to get vengeance out tonight our referee in the ring our man old man mills lane about to get it started underway. Now we are having some audio difficulties. All um, right, gentlemen. Oh, here we go. To my ring. You know the rules. You know what it is. You know, my word is the law. You know what like it is. We're, we're back at it. It'd be like that sometimes. There's not. There's not the world streaming without audio dis difficulties. And both of these champions touch gloves. And here we go. Now, if you fight fans were in attendance last time, you will remember that it was Zenith's amazing defense that won him the first round. And let's see if we're going to see a repeat of that here in the second coming. All right, now we're looking at it. Uh, now, see Jesus now working a very much different strategy, very different strategy from the first time we saw him taking a much more measured approach. And I think he's been taking this downtime to creatively think about how he's going to pick apart my man Zenith's defense. And here we go. Zenith now looking like looking like he started off in the first round, really just trying to measure out his opponent, trying to feel out his pacing. I like that. And here we go. Good footwork by Zenith working the ring, working the ring. Sharp, nice, some, some nice sharp jabs from your boy Jesus Jesus. Switch into that southpaw. You got to love it. It's very confusing to fight someone who's uh, an unorthodox boxer in that way. Can kind of switch it up. You never know when that lead hand is going to come. And interestingly enough, that means that, that lead hand with the right is going to pack a bit more power. Technically, he's hitting you with a bunch of crosses. Let's see if that's going to pay off for you, boy. All right, now switching back over. We got another view coming up. Let's go ahead and get this full screen for all of the audience members. Now, Zenith has been gracious enough to provide us with this nice HD view. And let's see how that defense is looking from that first person view. And a nice counter hit. That good right cross from Zenith. Here we go. Another, another three hits. And your boy is getting dazed right now. I see he's getting stammered. Trying to fight back. Another jab and another cross for his troubles. Jesus. Really not being able to fire, fire any kind of shots without recourse from Zenith. Zenith now, in, in a very nice peekaboo-esque stance here. Look at him, unfazed. And we got another counter hit from Zenith. Zenith looking for blood and another stiff jab. Yo, these jabs are finding their target, man. And right now, Jesus is in a world of trouble. My man is seeing three people right now. Hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. All three of them getting hit right now. Oh my god, again, tearing them down in another stiff jab. This is exactly what we saw in the last matchup. Now, your boy Jesus has got to think of something, right? He's got plenty of time to think to himself, just him and the mat right now. A little intimate moment. He's got to collect his thoughts, right? He's back on his feet. Nine. Oh, okay, we counted to a nine. The judge is making sure he's still got a little bit of light under his eyes. And Jesus says he can continue going. Now, you already know that puts him severely ahead in this first, uh, severely behind, I'm sorry, in this first round. And he's just not able to keep the same kind of defense. Now, what's interesting is, jumping through this from Zen's point of view, you can clearly see that he's able to peek through that guard and completely obliterate my man, Jesus Weezus. Jesus Weezus loves those hooks. He loves the hook to the body. He loves that lead hook, right hook to the face, but he's paying dearly for it in the form of these swift counters. <laughs> Such a stroke, Deco. Such a stroke, Deco. <laughs> Zen Zenith said he is, a, he, is a, he is a man of Christ. He's a follower, you know. He said, if Jesus, Jesus taught him, 
Jesus taught him. He going to turn the other cheek, even if he's got to turn it with his left hand and then the right cross. It's going to get turned. All right, skipping ahead, we are going into round number two, and the votes are in. The judges say that we definitely see that Zenith went ahead and took that first round with a clean decision. And here we go. Jesus squeezes now. Again, trying to find his range. Good. He's working the one, two. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of attacking the head from Jesus squeezes. And I hear I can I can hear his corner man saying, go for the body out. Work some feints in there. Make him raise his hands up. You know, and and but Jesus Weezus though, out for blood. He's he's like, look, I am here for the brawl. You're gonna get down and dirty. Good infighting. Now what's interesting is now he's trying to counter the the precision of Zenith's jabs with some infighting, but Zenith looks to be a bit of an infighter himself. Handle himself pretty well. And here he goes. Working jabs. Working jabs to the body, and there we go. Coach has got to be happy. We're seeing a lot of body work, but Zenith now takes it downstairs, and we got a good old basement party here, ladies and gentlemen. We out here stomping it out, looking like Jesus Weezes, looking a bit more wor worse for wear in that exchange, and I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. This is absolute level of ignorance that I have come to love and appreciate from the people here at Air of Combat Boxing. We don't care at all. We're just here to put some work in and put bodies on the ground. Mm, oh, oh, and another smack smack. Two more cheeks have turned. Jesus looks like his ears are ringing. Looks like he's trying to check a little, looking for the referee. Is the corner going to call it? Zenith looking for another knockdown, taking himself, working a little bit of the body, trying to get some endurance knocked out of him. Getting the, oh, my God, another crashing right coming down on the chin of Jesus Weezus. And another one, another stiff jab. Jesus Weezus does not look like he can take any more damage from this kind of punch. Goes down to the body, down to the head. Jesus Weezus now trying to slip. Oh, great, great slip, great slip. Now Jesus Weezus is hanging in there. He's mitigating the damage just enough so he can stay in this fight. But he's got to land some decisive hits. It looks like he's got one hand tied behind his back. It might be a bit of a handicap and a nice smash coming in from that left. It looked like a kind of like an uppercut. And a hook at the same time. I can't tell if that was a little bit of Wing Chun coming out here from Zenith. Y you almost can't tell with all these spam hands. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Help this man. <laughs> Help yourself. All right. Look. Look, Jesus, Jesus is not giving up. He had landed a couple of good shots there. Another wild swing and a miss. And again, Zenith is now really trained really well on that lead right hook. Another lead right hook. Here we go. No, G Jesus is in here. Jesus is in here working it. Jesus is taking a measured approach. Jesus is actually, I actually like this improved strategy. This is the hallmark of a seasoned veteran. He knows that he's not going to gas himself out in these first two rounds. And he's honestly willing to take a knockdown for the long game. And I respect that. You know, we're going to see if that kind of strategy pays off. And we're going into round two as these gentlemen waited out. Let's take it down to the scorecard. Judges, what is your decision? Uh, they seem to be deliberating a little bit. Now, my personal vote is I really do like the heart and tenacity of Jesus Weezus in that last round. Something about that last 10% of health with this guy. He's always able to just evade death. And I just don't understand it. Any mere mortal would be down on their luck, but not this guy. Pulling out miracles left and right. This man, Jesus Weezus. It's, it's about to be the third coming of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you. Look, retribution will fall upon all of those who oppose Jesus Weezus. But you know what we're missing here, ladies and gentlemen? We're not getting that classic Weezus Weezus status. You know, we, he's, he's keeping the breath work under control. Is this a new, more concentrated Jesus Weezus? All right, Jesus Weezus now going going the IRL boxing route, and I'm here for it. I respect it. Let's let's take a look at this man's point of view. Now let's see let's see him put in some work. Jesus Weezus right now with the red gloves. Let me remind everybody, Zenith in the blue gloves, and you see now Jesus Weezus has a, a bit of a strategy to himself. He's coming in. He's trying to work, but look at the man Zen's hands. Up, down, up, down. My man back at it again with that Neo from the Matrix defense. 
He goes from Peekaboo to Neo. I don't, I don't understand with the, how he's able to switch it so well. But I don't know. My man Jesus Weezus now. He said he got some answers for that defense. Look, he's trying to take it down. I see. Those are some really nice shot, sharp shots there by Jesus Weezus. Good tracking with those hands. Oh. But one thing we're not seeing, though, he's not keeping those hands up, and he's paying dearly for it. While his shots are connecting, your 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 hands are from from the from the point of view they seem to be down by your chin, exposing all of your your upper head. But I think you definitely got to race those hands up. I think so. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right now, your character model's hands are definitely at the eyebrows. Definitely at the eyebrows right now in the character model. From what we can see from Zenith's point of view, Zenith has been going, the, going to town. Going to town on the body. Zenith now reading, reading the commentators, knowing that the guard is going to be a little high, decides to tear into those ribs. Oh, my God. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Got the baby back, baby back, baby back ribs in this mug. <laughs> oh, my God. We eating good in the neighborhood out here. And look, 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 no free meals, though. Jesus out here saying you're going to have to pay a little bit of a tip. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we like now we're starting to see those hands up. But then again, Jesus with the strong man pose. Jesus with the strong man pose. That's not a defense we're used to seeing. <laughs> he had to flex up like Arnold Schwarzenegger, y'all. I can't believe this. <laughs> look, he look, he is back at it with the one twos. He's back at it with the one twos. Is that the wing? Look at this man. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hi, right, Josuke, I see you. <laughs> Got it. All right, now we're now we're back to some sensible boxing. Going back to some basics here with some jabs. <laughs> good one, two, good footwork. You know, keeping our hands back to our chins. That's what we like to see around here. And of this anime stuff we saw earlier from Jesus Weezus, he came in with the muda muda muda. <laughs> Look, look, we, we definitely have time to goof. We're only we're only around we're only around three here. We're only around three and this is all for fun. This the shits and the giggles as they like to say. But we've we've been having a good time out here. We've been having a great time watching this fight. This has been nothing but pure entertainment. I really hope that our production guy really gets it right this time and records my voice. We need to fire that guy. I tell you what, I don't know what happened with that last guy, but this new guy though, we done we, we got this new guy. He's gonna get the sound right, I promise you guys. All right, look, looks like Jesus Weez is taking the full time, getting that good recovery. The corner man is in there um, attending to his wounds, got him patched up real nice, and it looks like he's about to go ahead and jump right on in. Look at this man. Does not even need the rest of the six seconds. I personally would have taken my six whole seconds. You hear me, fellas? The whole seconds. Man of pride. Okay. The moment, the moment, what is, whoa, 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 are those, the, are those the spam hands? Are those the spam hands? Yo, Cobra style versus the spam hands. We we got to see what Zenith, what, what, what Zenith is looking at here. And look at, look at the stance. Look at the, look at the stance. The Lei Wu Long snake stance. This is the legendary boxing style of the man Jesus Weezus. He's about, he's about to make water into wine in this bitch. And this is going to be a miracle. <laughs> I am I am I am out here trying to figure out and the pimp slap the pimp now the double donkey kong let's go my man hit him with the Magilla Gorilla hands and there we go the legendary windmill technique air bending in this motherfucker you cannot get past this offense I mean this is top tier offense and that was a Tekken 7 move that was a Jack 7 launcher what is going on right now oh and the double handle the triple handle and now we're in an absolute backyard brawl this is your boy Super M no longer with air of combat Bad. Fuck this shit. This is street beefs, ladies and gentlemen, where we settle these beefs live and in the streets. These two guys have been beefing since the first matchup. Now, we don't have the footage here with us today, but we did hear that there was a bit.
bit of an altercation after the last round. It seems like Jesus Weezus was trying to turn the other cheek, but Zenith wasn't having it, and they weren't able to make peace. And now we're here in this next round, and we can see all of the emotions coming out here in this fight. My man Zenith trying to fight back, trying to go to the body, but here we go. Jesus Weezus trying to make this a slugfest with those heavy haymakers. Both, both gentlemen coming back out. Here we go. Nice solid jab. Nice solid jab. Yo, Zenith is looking real like an assassin right here. Yo, man. Let's go. Another jab. Another stiff jab. The hands go up from Jesus Weezus. Jesus Weezus running the one, two. But it doesn't make a difference. My man is dazed. He doesn't know where to hit. And another right. Another left. Another right. The punishment is coming in. And now we are brought to a brawl. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Weezus just landed the counter hit of the round. Bringing Zenith down to his level. And we're in a slugfest. Who is going to fall first? I have no absolute idea. This is an absolute torrent of flurry a firing fist of furious inferno and i i can't make heads or tail of it if i go to any camera right now you're gonna see the same thing ladies and gentlemen and that's like six fighters right now this is a gang fight technically there's three on each side and i can't i can't tell who's winning it's east side stomping versus the west side boys and oh my god another big hit landed by zenith Going to the body. Both men seem absolutely tired. And the bell saves somebody. We can't tell who. We cannot tell who. And I think, you know what? If, if, if things serve me right, I definitely think that Zenith barely, barely came out on top of that. But for the simple fact that the entire round, my man Jesus Weezus was on the ropes the entire round like Rocky Marciano showed a, a bunch of heart and brought Zenith almost to his knees. I almost, the, the bell saved Zenith and that for that reason alone, I'm going to give this round to Jesus Weezus. I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to give it to him. Do I mean, the Donkey Kong, you know, like the absolute Magilla Gorilla, King Kong, Donkey Kong, double fist. You know, honestly, if this was another game, <laughs> Creed, that would have actually scored a knockout. That, that, I tell you what, those, 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 those hammer fists were insane in that game. Oh, yeah, or VFC. <laughs> <clears throat> Wing Chun experts, you know, wow, all right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we we have Zenith in the blue trunks, Jesus Weezus in the red trunks, looking through Jesus Weezus' point of view right now, here we go, round five of six, and now we see a more measured, more calm athlete coming in here, and Zenith still an absolute assassin, not missing many of his hits, it's almost as if there's no guard coming from Jesus Weezus, and that head is free, boy, free 99 talk about five finger discount zenith is getting away with a steal absolute absolute steal man all right let's switch over back to uh let's switch over back to jesus weezus point of view um now jesus weezus here working it and you can see he's already switched back to his, his his infamous hidden southpaw style now he tried the snake style earlier uh, he also tried the fifth form animal Donkey Kong style, um, but now he's kind of went back to the, what worked for him best in the earlier rounds, which is switching to that lead hand right jab. Now, what's interesting here is that he's going to be able to catch up in, in, in damage if he keeps landing this jab. And he's looking really good this round, actually, you know, not taking too much damage. Here we go. Nice jab. Nice jab. All right. And I, and, I, and I love to see Jesus Weezus work here. I love to see when well, Jesus Weezus does his best work when, when everyone's a little bit gassed, you know, and that's where the heart really shines street. But oh my God, speaking of heart, we got to make another switch. That was an absolute huge right hook from Zenith. It sends Jesus Weezus dazing. My man scratching his head, doesn't know where he's at. I don't even think he knows what century he's in right now. And I don't think he knows how to get out of this round. <laughs> Zenith, Zenith is out here with a whole entire minute to work. Do you guys realize that is about as long as Broly got his behind whooped by Frieza? Like, this is about to be a terrible, terrible round for Jesus Weezus. If he doesn't, if he doesn't get out, he's got to move. He's got to move. He's swinging for the fences and a sharp uppercut sends his brain into the back of his hemisphere. We're seeing blood come out of his nose right now. <laughs> Jesus Weezus. Jesus Weezus. Please. Don't let it go out like this. Man. Man, the hands are going up. The elbow. <laughs> All right, Jesus Weezus. 
This is not this is not gonna be the last wheeze. This won't be this this is actually maybe just the beginning. Maybe just the beginning. I don't know if this is the beginning of the end. I thought I saw something coming up from Jesus Wheezes. He's working the jab, he's keeping to his strategy, but as soon as he starts going for those swings, he gets two counter punches for his doubles. Oh my god! Oh my god! Again, again, again! This is just a massacre! Jesus, this is just a hey, this is just a, the ref needs to call it. The hands are flying. And I don't know what happened there. I don't, I cannot tell whether it Jesus Weezus has the chin of a saint or this man Zenith is completely gassed. But I swear Zenith landed at least 500 hits straight to Jesus Weezus' face. And he ate all of those, all of those like he was communion. And I'm just, I'm just here. He's still standing. He's still standing. <laughs> He's still. I can't believe it. He is still standing. Both both boxers actually coming back out of this next round looking pretty spry. And we have the sixth and final round of the bite here tonight. The card so far has got Zenith up by a wide margin. Now, it would take an absolute miracle at this point to bring this back up. But there's no one that I know that is more capable of pulling off a miracle than Jesus Weezus. Here we go. This is the last and final round. Whoa. What is going on here? What is going on? And then just like on some biblical stuff, we see this Goliath here. Zenith has literally transformed into his final form. This man, this man out here... This man has out here condensed all of his mass into the smallest possible person to give his punches even more staying power. This is a literal David and Goliath fight. You can barely see the top of Jesus Weezus' head from Zenith's point of view. Now if we switch back over <laughs> to Jesus Weezus' point of view, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, my man is literally swinging for the skies. And golly, that was an insane knockdown. Oh my god. Two, three, <laughs> what did I just four, see? Five, what did I just see? Six, my man seven, came in and said, this is my eight, final form nine, on some Frieza shit. And got clotheslined at the end. But in true Jesus Weezus fashion, never giving up. A whole minute and 40 left here in this round. Still short, but he don't care. He's going to climb that tree. But my man Zenith is chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. Tim freaking Burr. I don't, I don't know how he got there short, but it, 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 it definitely might not have been the right strategy because these, these, these punches are raining down mercilessly okay oh my god oh my god and another knockdown down goes jesus wheezes for the second time in this round i don't think he's gonna be able to stand up <laughs> that is it that is it oh no he's on his feet oh is he he hit he has risen late is he out he's out oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and here we thought the judges have determined the, the winner. Have determined the winner. Wow! Knockout, the what is going on? Is the blue corner. Sorcery, sorcery, and witchcraft. I'm calling it here, folks. Sorcery and witchcraft. Look, this is your boy Super M back at it once again for the Air of Combat Trials. Look, I want to thank everybody who came out. I want to thank our sound guys who who, who scrapped up a little bit of know-how. Um, I want to thank the audience, the captive audience who has uh, listened to me babble on and on for two whole matches now. Um, I'll, I want to thank the creators of the game, you know, and all our sponsors here today. Um, you know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad you guys were here to listen to this, and I'm glad I was able to do it. And honestly, uh, l let me go back and actually check this because.